This is Neil um, on one of his escapades in the New Zealand bush. He's decided to take a music stand. I guess you're going to find out why. We are away up in the northernmost reaches of the west coast. You can't drive much further north. And we have gone on a bone-shaking trip uh, into limestone arches. So I would normally be carrying the uh, music stand, but because I'm doing the videoing, um, he's carrying the music stand. And in his backpack, you can imagine uh, what he might be carrying. This uh, track is well maintained and I think is fairly recent. It's in the um, Kahurangi National Park. It looks as though it's pretty dirty water, but it's just the tannins. Uh, you know, the bark and the seeds and the muddy stuff that gets into these places. Okay, we're coming close to destination here. And here we are. Um, enormous arches called the Operara Arches. They're about um, 200 meters long. That's the, the entrance just behind Neil there. Uh, he's now tuning up. And uh, his red sock is a danger signal, of course. Don't go beyond here. Okay, he wanted to see how his pipes sounded in these beautiful limestone arches. Um, they're about 37 meters high. Stalactites. This is a tune he composed especially for the occasion. It's called the Operara Arches. And this is not the end of the story. We were staying at a B&B &B in Westport and the owner of the B&B &B was actually a journalist on the Westport News and she wanted to write the story up in the newspaper the following day. So uh, Neil decided to compose a pipe tune for her. That's the blondie in the middle. And uh, so we got back just on dusk. This is uh, towards the end of summer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. She was very moved. Well, who wouldn't be? <laughs> Having their own pipe tune. So that's where we were, the Kahurangi National Park. It's worth the visit. <laughs>